Good morning. Hello. This is Tom Cloud with a special update for SRS listeners. News is breaking big in the gold business as for the first time since 1985 when you could put gold, physical gold, into an IRA. I was fortunate enough to be at the White House in 1985 when uh, industry, when uh, the industry, trade industry was there and President Reagan signed the new law that would allow gold and physical silver into IRAs. Since that day, 401ks have been pretty much not allowed because 401ks were set up by insurance company and brokerage firms who did not want any physical gold or silver in, uh, in the mix because they couldn't get paid for it and uh, they set it up to, for their benefit of their products they use to generate income for the 401k. So now we're seeing that the news is broken that several 401ks are changing their policy to be able to buy physical gold, in particular physical gold, into their plan. So now an investor in their plan can buy gold and they can have it inside there. This could be a very big game changer for us because we have been an advocate of this for years and many days, many hours, I've put into it over 44 years of trying to see this happen. So for this to be underway right now is absolutely breaking news in the gold industry. You gotta make your own decision what you think about it, but 1% of 401k money moved into gold it would wipe out the fiscal goal for sale in the United States. So you've got to realize what a big potential this is. And when it does move, as more and more companies have fiscal gold and silver in their 401k as an option for you, the 401k holder, this could be very, very, very large. So when it does move, will it move slowly as the insurance companies and the brokerage firms add this to their menu or will it zoom because people know where it'll be in a year or two. So uh, we're going to be watching this closely, but what I'd say to you is I've said many times I'd rather be a month or two or three early than a, a month late. So right now with the price of gold right at 1900, right under 1900, it's an excellent, excellent, excellent buy for something that's already been to 2000 and going much higher. I don't think anybody listening to this tape would disagree. Gold's not finished. For the ones of you waiting, I don't know what you're waiting on. Maybe it dips another $20, $30. Who cares? You didn't buy to go in for it to be 19. You know it's going to go way over 2000, 3000 on up into the thousands eventually. And the main reason is the second part of this alert is the dollar. People, the dollar is at 93.65 as I record this. And as we've talked about many times in the past, since January of, of 2019, every 1% the dollar goes down, gold's gone up 6%. And that's almost over a two year period. So then you have the last three or four weeks with the dollar going from 90 up to 95, for going, gold only went down one and a half percent for every one percent the dollar went up. Nobody knows the dollar, everybody knows the dollar is not going to be a store of value of the reserve currency of the world much longer. Just for example, the fiscal year, September 30th, 2020, last week just finished. Just finished. The biggest deficit in the history of the world. Any country, any time, any generation. 3.7 trillion is the number we're hearing. The year before that, Trump had the biggest debt ever at 1.7 trillion. This is 3.7 trillion. Where did the 2 trillion come from to make up the deficit? They printed it. It's money out of thin air, money by decree. It was printed. The dollar can't take this much longer. And depending on who gets in as the president and you get into all these social programs, you have seen nothing. 
You're going to see the dollar drop to 72, in my opinion, on the world market. So if it goes from nine, from 93.65 down to 72, it's about a 20 percent, approximately a 20 percent drop. So that would be 120 percent up for gold. So gold would be somewhere around 3,000 when this is done. But I can tell you, the rest of the world is about fed up with our money management. Trump has always been a debt person, whether you love him or hate him. The one thing he's always done constantly is borrow money and use other people's money to build his wealth, and it don't work that way for the government. And now you have a different sides fighting over, do you bring in uh, aliens, do you bring in non-residents, give them money, print money, give them jobs. I mean, people, this is in a runaway. We're in a runaway deficit problem. And we're sitting there, we got people around here starving. We're looking around the country, and yeah, we need more stimulus. People are starving. They need help. But stimulus comes with a huge, huge cost to the United States for the future. So, yeah, it's hard. You can argue both sides. Bring on the stimulus, yes. It's going to send gold up. It's going to send the stock market up if the stimulus thing is done, and it will be done. But then, when everybody starts selling off, the Japanese, the Chinese, the Russians, that have over $6 trillion, $7 trillion of U.S. debt, and they're tired of the way we manage, tired of the way we operate, and they say, hey, I'm cashing that investment in, and I'm going to go put mine in, a, in another country, in another currency. I'm through with the dollar. They can't manage their money worth a flip, and we can't. We can't. So it's time that you step up and do some praying, and I, and I mean that seriously. Do some praying about wisdom on what to do with your money, how to do it, and then put stops in there. Don't let any investment run away from you. Now, in fiscal gold and silver, you've got to be your own stop because you want to sell it. And we have the lowest storage rates in the world. We are doing more self-directed IRAs monthly now than we've ever done in 44 years. People our age are coming out and retiring, my age. And they're doing two IRAs. When they move out of a 401k, they're creating two IRAs, one for stocks, bonds, and cash, and one for precious metals. We can be your broker, and we can be, uh, uh, we can't be your custodian, but we can help you get the right custodian. You can call us anytime at 800-247-2812. Once again, 800-247-2812 to discuss this with me or Dan or Jade or Catherine ever who you get on the phone. But let me tell you, people, you had better, better, better get ready. Because when this election comes, it's never going to be the same again. We will pay for the debt no matter who is elected president. The dollar will pay for it. People will start cashing in U.S. treasuries. Who's going to keep everything's money by decree? I mean, just think, it was $7 trillion of debt just 10 or 12 years ago. Now it's $27 trillion and growing exponentially. And how about the interest on the debt? The $3.7 trillion that we just spent the fiscal year was an average of 2%, another 7 or $8 billion in interest. So it's compounding. You've you got to understand that. And I've told you all many times to go to usdebtclock.org, usdebtclock.org. Spend 30 minutes and educate yourself on what this debt is doing to us. Because this may be your last chance before the run of one day. And let me tell you, the supply of gold never been like it's been like this in my career. I've never seen it going down. It's being sold a lot faster than it's coming out of the ground. So when it gets into a shortage, there's going to be even more demand for it. So hopefully today I've painted a picture for you that we're running out of time. There are people coming on board that are going to buy in millions of dollars of gold at a time. And it's going to affect the physical market. And as I said earlier, if you'll talk to us about our storage program, it's the lowest in the world. What you would pay to store it 
And when you're ready to liquidate, all you do is sign a piece of paper. You don't have to load it up and send it back. But if you want to take physical delivery of the gold and silver and platinum, you can still do it. So anyway, hopefully give us a call. Keep tuned. Elections around the corner. Things will never be the same whichever way it goes. Well, this is Tom Cloud with a special report for SS, SRS listeners signing out.